paisa vasulte like seriously who doesn't love this sort of stuff value for money items today also i have something very interesting to show you all it's like a super affordable category projector from zebronix model is called as pixaplay 11 recently launched and let me tell you it's only the size of your palm guys super tiny and compact yet packs some pretty interesting features at an affordable price tag see first of all na it's got like 1080p video resolution support can throw up to like 150 inches projection size has built in speaker 50 1500 lumen brightness and plenty of other stuff but main highlight is this little compact projector na can run only on a power bank you don't even need like a dedicated plug socket so you can take it anywhere and enjoy projector on the go so this is what we'll be unboxing and checking out in this video let's get started So guys this is that projector I was talking about from Zebronix it's their all new Pixaplay 11 it's a very compact and mini portable projector guys comes in this sort of box packaging and has plenty of interesting features main thing is it even supports 1080p full hd resolution has 1500 lumens and can throw almost up to like 150 inches massive screen size you just have some pictures of the product over here and there and at the back you got some of its main other features now the native resolution of this mini projector is around like 720p but it does support 1080p level resolutions as well we'll be talking about all of those details once we get started with the unboxing let me quickly grab my knife cut this seal over here and show you how the product looks like so as soon as you open it packaging somewhat looks like this and it's available in like two to three different colors today we have the white and purple color edition and there you go boys our first hands on experience on the pixar play 11 from zebronix and oh my god are you kidding me This is such a compact and portable projector guys and we'll just come back to this in a moment let me also show you all the accessories that we got in the package there's an accessory box over here which includes a lot of cables and stuff let me quickly show you at the top you get a remote control for the projector decent quality remote control matte black finish made of plastic and has a lot of useful buttons and button quality is also pretty good keeping that aside you get a 3.5 mm to RCA cable a free HDMI cable is also included so that's a plus point and lastly this is your power adapter so you can run the projector using this dc power adapter or it even works via simple power bank also you don't even need like a separate plug socket only anyways let me give you a closer look and show you how the product looks like there you go zep picks up play 11 in the hand you've got the zebronix logo at the top over here it says hd 720p native resolution and the model is mentioned as well and talking about the size i've told you right it's a very compact mini led projector just the size of my palm you can throw it in your backpack easily carry it anywhere build quality is also very nice it's entirely made of like polycarbonate material in a dual tone finishing love the color as well white and lavender sort of finish you've got some controls over here let me show you there's a power button tiny status led indicator navigation buttons are there okay button input source select and a back button that's it now going to the front this is where you've got the main lens of the projector look at this such a tiny lens right but i have to mention the coating on the lens is pretty good we'll have to see how the quality will look like in real life and to the side you've got like a manual focus adjustment available you can simply use it like this and focus the image when you're using the projector you've got some connectivity ports available on the side uh, you have a usb input available hdmi in is also there this is your dc in where you'll need to connect the power adapter and lots of vents here and there to keep it running cool and you've got some more connectivity ports at the back side so this is your micro usb input guys secondary source of power this is where you can connect a power bank and simply run this projector even without a plug point you also have micro sd card slot 3.5 mm headphone jack is available and av out that's it these are all the connectivity ports available on it on the bottom you got some rubber foot pads on on the corners details about the product and a quarter inch thread is also available so you can even place it on like a monopod tripod and get like a good grip on the projector so that's it our complete overview on this thing what i'll do is i'll quickly set it up and show you how the picture quality of this projector looks like okay our projector is all set up and here's how the home screen on it looks like setup part was very simple as i've told you you can run it in two methods you can either directly connect the power adapter into a plug socket and use it or you can even use like a simple power bank and use this projector anywhere on the go super convenient i would say 
Now, apart from that, if you talk about the projection size, as I've told you, brand says that it can throw up to like 150 inches max projection size. And that is actually pretty crazy for this sort of affordable price tag. But see, based on my usage, I felt it was offering like best and optimal sort of results around 75 to 80 inches. Yes, you can go beyond that, but I felt, you know, image quality was slightly, you know, degrading and also you were losing sharpness, guys, if you go above 100 inches. And apart from that, if you talk about the focus system, as I've told you, you have like a manual focus ring on the left and it's like very easy and simple to adjust the focus anywhere right now i'm not even using like a silver screen i'm directly throwing the projection on my wall only and you can have a look at the projection quality we'll be talking about the projection quality as well in a moment first let me give you like an overview on the home screen and show you basically what do we have over here as i've told you this is not a smart projector you don't have android operating system over here don't expect a lot it's a very affordable projector so obviously it'll be like a simple one only now you'll have to connect some sort of input source then only you will be able to enjoy this projector so you've got like a couple of options first is you can use like a pen drive connect it to that usb type a port and enjoy videos or stuff second is you've got hdmi input as well right simply connect like maybe your laptop or maybe your pc anything and then you can enjoy movies or you know web series anything that you want on this projector anyways here's how the home screen on it looks like very simple to use ui uh, you can directly access photos video files music files anything present connected to the USB drive directly from over here I've connected a pen drive right and to the right you've got your input source select where you can switch between HDMI or AV input signal beside that you've got your projector settings which include a couple of modes like you can go from normal front and back or you can even you know use it in top-down inverted mode as well image scaling aspect ratio settings are there and projection quality adjustment is also there like the picture mode settings contrast brightness you can adjust all of these easily from the menu Okay, you guys saw those video demos, right? What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section down below. Now, I've been using this projector for the last couple of days. So let me share you my feedback and experience. So before I actually tell you about anything now, first of all, keep in mind that it's a very affordable category projector, guys. So don't expect like premium quality results over here. You'll have to consider the budget price tag also. First of all, it's a 720p native projector and supports both 720p and 1080p video resolutions as well. You can play all sorts of formats uh, 720p 30 720p 60 but in 1080p resolution it can only play up to like 1080p 30 guys it doesn't support 1080p 60 format so keep that in mind now if you talk about the projection quality projection quality is actually pretty good considering the price tag there was good amount of detail as you might have seen in the video now the projection size was around like 80 inches and despite that size now everything was like easily readable guys for example text or any sort of content right it was pretty much visible not an issue at all good amount of detail i found on this projector talking about the colors colors were actually pretty decent i mean just look at those rgbs over there reds greens and blues they were producing like on point colors and you'll be like pretty happy with the results and now if you talk about the contrast levels contrast levels were tk not the best i've seen and if you talk about the brightness well this projector has a maximum brightness of around like 1500 lumens it's not the brightest projector i've seen but tk it'll get your job done for home sort of usage one thing you'll have to keep in mind is you'll have to use this projector in a dark room then only you'll fully enjoy the experience on the overall picture quality was pretty decent for this price tag and now if you talk about the focus and the corner to corner sharpness well the image was looking like pretty sharp at the central area but as and how you proceed to the corners right extreme corners you can definitely see a bit of distortion and you know the image loses its focus and you know sharpness if you go to the corners so this is something you'll have to keep in mind 
all right let me tell you about the built in speaker quality also it has like a built in single speaker and speaker quality i felt was average guys it was not that great to be honest decent audio quality you can understand you know all the dialogues not an issue at all but clarity was a bit less and when you increase the volume level up to like 90 95% now you can definitely feel that distortion in the sound so that's it our video on Zebronix Pixar Play 11 compact portable projector it's a very good projector for this price point value for money i would say especially the design the compactness portability you can even use it on like a power bank supports even up to like 1080p 30 video resolution formats and you have like decent amount of brightness overall video quality was also pretty much acceptable at this price point only thing i wish it had was you know smart operating system imagine if this thing had like android built in wi-fi bluetooth it would have been crazy, right? Next level product, I would have said. That was the only thing missing. But apart from that, for this price point, uh, I was like pretty much satisfied. Links will be available in the description box below. And initially, when I bought this projector, it was somewhere around like 5,000 rupees. And surprisingly, the price right now is only around like 3,500 only, guys. Link will be in the description box below. You can check it out there. So that's it. I hope you all enjoyed watching the video and got to know about this product. Make sure to smash that like button and I'll see you all in my next one.